I was asking for something specific and perfect for my city, whereupon, lo, up sprang the aboriginal name. Now I see what there is in a name, a word, liquid, sane, unruly, musical, self-sufficient. I see that the word of my city is that word from of old, because I see that word nested in nests of water bays, superb, rich, hemmed thick all around with sailships and steamships, an island sixteen miles long, solid founded, numberless crowded streets, high growths of iron, slender, strong. Light, splendidly uprising toward clear skies, tides swift and ample, well loved by me toward sundown. The flowing sea currents, the little islands, larger adjoining islands, the heights, the villas, the countless masts, the white shore steamers, the lighters, the ferry boats, the black sea steamers well modeled. The downtown streets, the jobbers' houses of business, the houses of business of the ship merchants and money brokers, the river streets, immigrants arriving, fifteen or twenty thousand in a week, the carts hauling goods, the manly race of drivers of horses, the brown-faced sailors, the summer air. The bright sun shining and the sailing clouds aloft, the winter snows, the sleigh bells, the broken ice in the river passing along up or down with the flood tide or ebb tide, the mechanics of the city, the masters, well formed, beautiful faced, looking you straight in the eyes, trottoirs thronged, vehicles, Broadway. The women, the shops and shows, a million people, manners free and superb, open voices, hospitality, the most courageous and friendly young men. City of hurried and sparkling waters, city of spires and masts, city nested in bays, my city.